Elections in Thailand, where pro-democracy opposition parties have won Sunday's parliamentary election, paving the way for a challenge to the country's military-backed government. The leader of the Prog Progressive Move Forward party, which came in first, says he's ready to become prime minister. He's offered an alliance with other opposition groups, including the reform-oriented Putai party, which took second place. If successful, they could oust incumbent Prime Minister Prayut Chanocha, who came to power in a coup almost a decade ago. Now let's cross to Bangkok, where DW Asia Pacific Bureau Chief Georg Mattes is standing by for us. Georg, tell us more about those coalition talks. Is a new government expected to be formed soon? That's right, Gerhard. I just followed the press conference of Peter Lam Charun Rat, uh, um, leader of the Move Forward Party, who is now determined to become Thailand's uh, new prime minister. He has reached out to five parties to start coalition talks, including the Pure Thai Party, one of the main opposition parties that is coming out of rather disappointed out of this race. They were hoping for a landslide victory, and now uh, it is the rising star of this race, this progressive Move Forward Party uh, that has stolen them, if you want, the show quite a surprise here in Thailand that they came out so strongly and quite a crushing defeat uh, for Prayut, um, uh, the current um, uh, Prayut Chan Ocha, the current prime minister uh, and his uh, conservative pro-military uh, party. Now, winning the parliamentary elections with 500 seats there in the parliament is one thing, but there are also 250 senators who are appointed by the military who also participate in choosing a new prime minister. What kind of a difference will that make? Well, it makes a crucial difference. Uh, that is why it's been basically set, set up by the pro-military government. Uh, it has uh, secured uh, the win for Brayu Chan Ocha, um, the current prime minister, already in the last race in 2019, when all of the 250 senators voted in his favor. And it may, in fact, if you look at the sheer numbers, uh, uh, be enough again this time. Uh, Brayu Chan Ocha uh, needs just four parties uh, to have coalition talks with. If he wins them over, and all of the 250 senators would vote for him, he would stay in the seat of power. Now, um, the Move Forward Party is hoping that they will gain the support from the five um, parties they, they are now starting talks with. But if you look at those numbers, they, that will only secure the Move Forward Party 309 seats. They need 375. So they are banking on uh, some of those 250 military-appointed, non-elected senators voting in their favor uh, when it comes down to it. And the reason why they would do that is um, the leader of the Move Forward Party basically said, look, we got such a success in this vote. This has been the highest um, turnout in elections in Thailand on record. The, the people have made their choice and that is why he's hoping that some of those senators will turn in his favor. Well, if it turns towards the opposition, how concerned are people in Thailand that the army could again try to interfere? There are always concerns when it, when it comes to a coup d'etat. Uh, Thailand has seen dozens of them. Um, but the leader of the army uh, basically ruled out uh, any coup uh, in the near future. And also uh, the fact that the turnout is high and the expectations are even higher, if you want. Uh, the opposition parties have promised cash handouts uh, to, to the population, uh, doubling the minimum wage. There's high expectations on the part of the Thai population that things are changing in this country. Um, so any meddling uh, with, with those affairs here now uh, could start uh, street riots. Nobody at this point uh, from the people I have talked to in Thailand really wants to see that uh, right now. Our correspondent Georg Mattes there. Thank you very much, Georg.